Hey, 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 everyone. Coach Curtis Phelan here. Uh, if you're not sure who I am, and, and uh, sorry, I didn't get as many videos out this week as I wanted to. You know, when you when you start putting yourself out there, and with some of the stuff we're going to talk about today, you know, the universe answers. If you step up and you have a calling and you step into it, uh, it'll just deliver what you need. So I've been slammed busy, which is fantastic. Um, and I was wanting to, you know, get some of the information that, that I'm – some of it relearning, but some of it's new and uh, stuff I had never heard before. And uh, this is from Russell Brunson's Secrets of Success program. Uh, if you want access, I can get you uh, a free 30-day trial. But I'm going through these modules, and I'm just sharing some insights that I'm getting. I'm taking lots of notes, so I'm just sharing my notes here. So today's going to be about – if you don't know who I am, I've been a results life and business coach for over 25 years now. I was one of the founding coaches for a gentleman named Tony Robbins. Most of you have probably heard of Tony Robbins. I shared an office with his ex-wife Becky and his son Josh, and we, um, you know, built the coaching department up over the years. And then uh, I left Tony 20 years ago to go out on my own. Now I help business coaches. I specifically work with business owners and business coaches. So, anyways, today we're going to be talking about the refusal of the call. So, if you haven't watched these videos last week. I think every day, Monday through Friday, I did a I did a video um, going through modules one and two to talk about all this stuff. Okay about resistance and um, refusal of a call and the call and all this stuff. So today we're going to talk about the hero's journey, which is what I think I ended on Friday, maybe Thursday or Friday. But the hero's journey, you see this in movies and stuff, plus the ordinary world. So we're going to talk about just this piece of the puzzle. You know, uh, every day that I can get on here, I'll be sharing pieces of the puzzle. So I'm just going to go back to my notes from when I went through this. Um, so... As I've been going through Secrets of Success, you know, uh, we're diving into Module 3 today. It's Module 3 in that program. And if you want access, let me know. Send me a direct message or comment below, Secrets or Secrets of Success, whatever. And I'll, I'll send you a link to get a 30-day free trial of that program. It's, it's so powerful. If you don't know, Russell Brunson's invested millions. I think it's now $20 million building a <laughs> – I call it a museum, but it's more of a library uh, in Boise, Idaho. <laughs> Um, buying rare books that were – many of them never published, never released to the public because they were so controversial about success from people like Napoleon Hill and things. You know, most people – a lot of people have read things like Think and Grow Rich, but uh, there's actually a, a version of Think and Grow Rich that uh, Russell's not printing, <laughs> but he's reading it, and you can you can listen to the laws of success in there. It's a pre cursor to everything. Um, there's a there's – a, he did make a copy of – where is it? Thinking to a rich. I have another. I have so many books now. They're like, like, like I have books. Of, this whole office is just covered in books. I just got to take time and go organize them all. But this version of Thinking to a Rich, this was the version that Napoleon Hill wrote before it went to the publishers before it was released. So there's a forward in here by Russell. He worked with the organization, um, Napoleon Hill Foundation, to to publish this. So I'll be sharing this next. Like this, I'm excited about because I've you know. I've gone through Think and Go Rich, but not the – with all the stuff that the publishers and everything in the in, in society didn't want released. So we're going to be sharing that stuff. So anyways, cool. So let's get to it today because I have a full day again. Uh, I got about 15 minutes to get this video out to you guys. So mm -hmm. let's make it quick. And I'll, so I'll just breeze through my notes. Hopefully you'll get something from this. If you do, please like or comment. Share it to anybody. This might help. Um, but yeah, so – I love doing these live because it doesn't, you know, it's it's even though I've 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 kind of written out what I'm going to say and what I'm going to do and and follow my notes to stay on track because I I just tend to ramble on sometimes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my notes today so we don't take too long. All right. So today I just want to talk about the importance of having a goal or a dream as you watch these videos, as you listen to these. So if you're watching recordings, go back. You know, maybe go back a week or so and start watching the videos because I'm going step by step how to implement this stuff. But you you need to have a mm -hmm. a definite purpose. We call it. You need to have a goal, a specific, clear outcome. You'll get so much more from watching these if you go back and figure out what's your definite purpose. What is your calling? What is it that you're truly here on this planet to create? Okay, and to give. So. Let me share about um, just a little bit about my journey is what I wrote down. Um, you know, it's so much more fulfilling when you have this this uh, this this calling and this journey you're going after. So I, you know, uh, real quick. So I struggled in high school. Um, I actually had to go to summer school to graduate 
um, and you know walk across and get my uh, you know get my diploma. And then I went right into the Marine Corps. But after that, I completely destroyed my life. I was a complete maniac, psychopath, you know, right after the Marines. Got in a lot of trouble. And um, I needed to turn my life around, right? So there was a calling for me to look, turn my life around when I got that low in my life. I was homeless at one time in Miami. Uh, I live in Naples, Florida now. So so anyways, um, you know, so, so I had to change my identity. You know, who I was was creating the results that I was getting in my life. So I had to figure out how to how to change my identity and that's what led me to Tony Robbins so um, I had to figure out how to change that and uh, within a matter of learning these techniques and strategies and things from Tony Robbins I very quickly within a matter of two and a half three years I completely turned my life around had the you know my dream job at the time you know my own house uh, the dream girl everything I wanted right um, and my life's never been the same again. Within you know, within those three years, I ended up becoming one of the founding coaches for Tony Robbins. He was starting a coaching department, and uh, like I like I told you, I shared. I, I was just blessed. I'm like, man, how lucky to get you know paired up with his son Josh, who's a phenomenal coach. He doesn't coach anymore. Josh had left us to go. Uh, he's a he's a big time you know um, investor now. He's got his own funds and stuff. I mean, he's just amazing. But um, just I mean, Josh is just like. I, I I I don't know if I've even heard a coach since then as good as Josh. I mean, it's just phenomenal. But he had you know he had another calling. He had a different calling. So, anyways, I was blessed to learn from people like that and and you know be one of the first coaches in the industry outside of sports, obviously. Um. So anyway, so that's my journey. You know, learning a lot of these strategies. Um. I stopped doing them. You know, and um. You know, I, like I said, I was applying them to my life, but. Anytime I've stopped using them, I've stopped going after my calling. I've fought it. I've allowed resistance to get in the way, whatever that is. Um, you know, it's different for everybody. Some people, it's addiction. Like, I, you know, I had addiction going on, uh, alcoholism, things like that. Um, I've let that get in the way. Uh, just just different fears and doubts. Anytime I didn't step into that and, and you know, follow the calling, uh, follow the journey, uh, the universe would would, would – would make me know, you know, make it known to me. Like it would, it would, it would, I would destroy my life. So anyways, um, so I've, I've had the ability, thank God, I, I learned these skills because I've used these skills many times in my life to quickly turn things around, right? So I'd lose everything, literally everything but my life and, um, be able to turn it around within a year. Right. So I've done that several times. <laughs> so learn from my mistakes and I'll share what I, some knowledge that I can that, that hopefully helps some people watching these videos. Okay. So, uh, anyway, so I'm going too long. See what happens when I don't just read my notes. <laughs> so I'm sharing this because it's crucial to have a goal or purpose in mind as you engage in this content, whether it's in your business, your personal life, whatever. Okay. Having something to apply these lessons to makes all the difference in the world. Okay. So it's like a, it's like a treasure hunt, right? You're searching for those golden nuggets that are going to help you achieve that one thing that you're looking to achieve or that calling that you're looking to fulfill. Um, you know, that one thing that's going to get you closer to your goal. You have to have a goal. Otherwise, this isn't really going to help you. You'll learn the information, not apply it, and you'll forget it. Okay? So remember why you're here, why you're watching this. Figure out what's the goal that you can apply. Maybe you pick up one thing that I say that says, oh, that's the nugget I needed. I'm, go I'm good, right? So anyways, um, so, so seek out those, you know, those nuggets. Um, what else did I have in here? So before we dive in, like I said, I, I've already said this again, but if you haven't done this, uh, I believe it's module two. So go back through my videos, whichever one I talked about module two, rewatch it, define your definite purpose. Uh, we all have one. You have to uncover that. If you need some help, let me know. Uh, apply all these insights towards a goal. Uh, it'll make the journey much more fulfilling, much more enjoyable when you know what your calling is. Um, you know, because like I said, in, in that hero's journey, there's going to be challenges. And if you don't know your calling, it's going to be very difficult to overcome those. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get through this. I got Now I got like 10 minutes, so let's rush this uh, before my, <laughs> my first coaching call today. So in our last uh, session, day one, module three, so I think that was, boy, it's been probably Friday or Monday, um, we discussed resistance, all right? So if you don't know what resistance is, go back and watch that video. So resistance is the force that holds us back, okay? Could, like I said, it could be anything. It could be 
a habit, a pattern, a person, <laughs> whatever, right? Whatever's been, you know, keeps holding you back. Maybe you're, maybe you're, maybe you, uh, maybe you get distracted by your phone or uh, video games, right? Or things like that. So um, anyway, so awareness is key. So today's about awareness. I just want to help you become aware of the resistance. What's the resistance? Mm -hmm. you, you know, the first step in overcoming it is becoming aware of it. And we did an exercise on that last video. That's why I asked, you know, go back and watch it if you didn't um, from a few days ago. Um, you got to become aware of the resistance before any of this knowledge that I'm going to share today is going to help you. So, um, yeah, so let's see. Yeah, so in module three, um, what I learned is uh, is the refusal of the call, right? We talked about that. There's different ways to say that, but basically not doing what you're called to do, right? Refusal of the call. So you might recognize this current, if you've ever read uh, Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey Framework, it's what I believe all, you know, playwrights, um, you know, people that create movies and write books, they use this framework, okay, from Joseph Campbell. Um, and we won't go deep into that today, but I just wanted to kind of give you this idea, this concept. So it's essential. And why I'm looking down, I'm using my phone. It's so funny. I have so many lights on me right now, but for some reason, <laughs> even my phone, like my computer, it made it look like it was really dark in here, and it's not at all. Um, and even my phone makes it look like that way. That way. So I'm, I might need to get even brighter lights, but I won't be able to see anything if I get any brighter lights. Anyways, bear with me. I'm looking down at my notes here. Um, so the refusal of the call, right? So this is where people get, get stuck. This is where we get stuck. We get in that cycle. You know, some people call it a loop. I call it a figure eight where you're just back and forth, back and forth in your life and you never really, you know, move forward. So um, in the book, uh, Joseph Campbell, the hero with a thousand faces, uh, he discovered a universal story arc. Okay, so it's a story arc, right? From point A to point B, all right? And the framework provides a structure for myths and stories, okay, showing that everyone's narrative follows a similar pattern. So George Lucas, right, he was inspired by Campbell, and he applied this to Star Wars, right? If you, most, most people know what Star Wars is. I hope, I hope you do. Uh, if you're not, look it up, <laughs> but if you're not familiar with it. But uh, George Lucas applied it. It's what inspired him to create Star Wars, right, the hero's journey. Um, pretty much every movie out there. Um, all Disney movies, um, Lord of the Rings, you know, all those types of movies. It's a hero's journey, okay. And if you, you'll you'll start to recognize this when you start to, to start to when you become aware of it and you're watching movies and reading books. So um, buckle up as we explore the hero's journey, okay. So with um, so so where did I put my notes here? Okay, so refusal of the call. It's a critical juncture. Okay, so understanding the stage can be a game changer in your journey. Okay, so you need to understand the journey so that it can help you in your life so that you can determine where you are. Um, that's going to help you go to the next step and the next step, right? Because you're going to have these challenges and tribulations and things on the journey. So understanding the journey is going to help you get through the journey in life, right? From where you are now, what, what I called before in previous videos, the unlived life. So we have the life we're living now, and then we have that life we want to live, that unlived life that most people go to their deathbed, unfortunately, not ever living that life. That's like the biggest thing that people on their deathbed say that they regret what they didn't do, the things they didn't achieve, right? Not the things they did do, right? So anyways, so <laughs> enough on that. So the power of the hero's journey, uh, it's, 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 it's universal. All cultures, anywhere in the world, everyone faces the hero's journey in their life, okay? Um, Christopher Wagner, he simplified this framework um, in his screenwriter's guide, okay? Um, and he took that inspiration from Joseph, Cam Joseph Campbell's work. Uh, and so Vogler's the one who employed it in Disney. So he worked with Disney. Okay, he was working for Disney. And he integrated the hero's journey into the Disney movies. Like m most of the earlier and original Disney movies, right, they, they have that hero's journey inlaid in them. Um, I'm not sure as, as much in the, the more recent ones, but it's still there. Okay. Just not as intense. Um, so anyway, so you, you've probably seen films. If you think about the hero's journey, right? They're, they're one person and then they become another person at the end of the movie. Right? So that's the same thing we go through. All right. Enough on that. So here's a brief breakdown. I wrote this down. So you have the ordinary world, the ordinary world, our everyday world that we're in now, our comfort zone, right? So the story begins with a character's familiar environment, right? Our comfort zone, our familiar environment. Um, then you have a call to action, right? A beckoning 
towards uh, beyond your ordinary life. Now, this isn't like a calling like, hey, Curtis, you need to go do this, right? It's like a almost like a physical or spiritual pull, like something you might not even know what it is. And that's why it's you know important to uncover this and why we're talking about these things in these videos. It's like that calling that says there's something else. There's something more to your life. Maybe you just don't know what it is yet, but you feel that little tug, uh, that little calling. OK, then there's the refusal of the call. OK, everybody experiences the refusal of the call, by the way. OK, so you have that calling and then you're like, eh, I don't know if I can do that. That eh, sounds like a lot of work, <laughs> you know, whatever. Right. So you have that um, reluctance to embark on the adventure. Right. And what's even worse, I'll tell you, you know, from everything I've learned over the, you know, the decades in the personal development industry, knowing what to do and not doing it is the most painful experience in life you'll ever have. Right. You're like sitting there knowing what to do and not doing it like you want this other life, but you're just not doing it. And you know everything you need to do, that is so painful, man. I mean, that's the toughest thing to overcome. Most people don't. They don't ever overcome it, okay? So you got to get help for that, all right? Get a coach or whatever. So um, then, you have, then you have meeting a mentor. So you meet a mentor, a guide, a wise figure, right? Like in Lord of the Rings, Gandalf, right? Gandalf the Grey, and then he comes Gandalf the White, right? He's the, the guy, the white wizard, right? So that allows you... You know, if if you've ever watched Lord of the Rings, it's 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 man, it's so spot on with the with the hero's journey. I mean, it's like through the whole journey, it's it's the whole process. But you know, uh, Frodo he lives in the Shire. It's a very nice little place for for these little people, right? And they, uh, he's like, oh, I gotta go do this thing, and then I don't want to ruin the movie, right? But then Gandalf comes. He's like this wise wizard, and he gives Frodo the. You know, basically, he's this coach, right? He's his guide. He's his mentor. And he gets him to – influences him to, to follow the journey, to follow the calling, okay? Then there's crossing the first threshold, all right? So the heroes ventures into this new unknown world, right? So in the movie, Frodo and Sam Wise Galaxy, this is his name, they leave the Shire. They've never left the Shire. Like uh, Frodo in the movie, you'll see at some point he's like uh, – he, I think it's him or – or Samwise, one of them. I forget which one it is right now. But they get to the point where they're like, I've never, like, they stop. Like, they don't take another step. They're like, I've, I've never stepped this far outside the Shire, right? So that's like our threshold, our comfort zone. Like, maybe it's something you haven't done, but you know you need to do to achieve the calling, but you've never done it before. So you're uncertain, you're scared, you're fearful. Our brain's job is to stay in our comfort zone, right? It's it's develop this protection zone. It, our main job of our brain, right, really is to keep us safe and, and live, right? <laughs> so it'll do crazy things to keep us in our comfort zone, even if it keeps us from having a successful, fulfilling life. It'll do crazy things to stop us, okay? So enough mm -hmm. on that. So then after the crossing over the threshold, then you start getting the tests, right? So... Like I mentioned earlier, I help business coaches primarily now more than business owners, more, more business coaches now. And so when someone decides to start, whether it's a coach or a business owner, what, when someone decides they want a business, they want a better life, they want a whatever, they're going to be tested. The universe, the world is going to test you. It's going to say, really, is this what you truly want? You know, are you serious about this? How clear are you on what you want? Uh, and they're going to. It, 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 there, it's going to put enemies, uh, allies, tests, all these things that you need to deal with to to get out of that unlived uh, the, the the current world that you're in, right? Your model of the world to the new model of the world you need to develop to create the life that you want. Okay, so um, or achieve that calling, right, for others or whatever. So then after that, if you get through that, so yeah, so also experiences, challenges friends and foes right you got to deal with all that stuff so i just want to make sure i don't miss anything here on my notes so approach to the innermost cave <laughs> that is so funny because it's like literally in the lord of the rings they go through the they have to go through these caves it's crazy uh anyways so the hero uh he nears a significant challenge so it's like a real life or death challenge right 
uh, at least in their mind, <laughs> right? But in the movie, it's both in the mind and, 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 and actually physically, right? So without ruining the movie too much, right, um, they, they confront that. So you have to, you have to, uh, and, and in, in the modern world, the real world, right, uh, not the movie world, um, that innermost cave can be your subconscious mind, right? They talk about the subconscious mind. So we need to dive into that innermost cave where all those things that are keeping us Fears, doubts, beliefs, habits, patterns. We need to change those things. We need to, but we need to confront those things. We need to uncover those things to be able to get the reward, which is the next step. Okay, um, or should I say to to be able to handle the test, right? So you're going to be tested. You're going to have a major test, a major, major, major test when you go after that thing. At some point, I tell all the coaches. That I help, I'm like, it's something internally or externally is going to stop you. The key is to reach out for help so we can help you get through that thing that stops you from having this new life that you want. Okay. So then we have the reward, seizing the sword, right? Mm -hmm. So, so the reward uh, or whatever it is, right? It's achieving success, but often there's consequences. Okay. Another one just came to my mind. Um, is uh what is it called i think it's i think it's the movie endgame or it's an avengers movie right where they go and get they're getting the rings or are they rings yeah they're rings yeah <laughs> um i forget or they're stones right so they're stones and they're in different items but um they're they're looking for these stones and there's one scene that won't ruin it but where they have to sacrifice one of the other person Right, they have to decide like to get this stone, like to save the universe or you you know universes. They have, to save everything. They have to one of them. They have to give up the other person. Like they, one person has to die to get this stone. Okay, so that there's consequences to getting that that's that stone or that thing that you want. Uh, it doesn't have to be a, a you know a life, but I'm just saying it's it's a great metaphor. Um, but you will, there will be some consequences. There will be some sacrifices to achieving the reward that you want. Okay. Now it doesn't mean somebody's going to die. It just means that, you know, I got to run out of time. So I got to speed up guys. I just got my five minute warning from my co my coaching call coming up. So I apologize for that. Um, so achieve success consequence. Okay. So the road block, the road back. So then after you get the reward, um, there's, and if you want more on this, let me know, like I said, direct message me, comment below. I will uh, send you a link to get free access to this course that I'm going through. Very powerful. Uh, anyways, so the road, uh, so there's the reward. Then there's the road back. Okay, so then the hero, after they get the reward, they begin their journey back to the ordinary world. Okay, as a new person, right? Because they've turned into a new person to achieve the reward. Now they go back to their ordinary life. Gosh, this is like fits my life so so much. Um, so then there's the road back, and then um, there's a resurrection, a final challenging test before the return. Powerful, man. Once, you, once you're on your way back to that, then there's going to be a test. Are you truly this new person? Are you this new identity that deserves this new life? Whew. Powerful. Then there's, return, there's the return with the elixir. The hero begins a newfound wisdom or a gift back home. They bring back a gift. They change the world. They improve lives. Whatever it is that they bring back from this journey to help others. Okay? So let me fly through these because I do have to jump off here for a client in three minutes. <laughs> All right? So the structure fits any movie. Like I said, uh, I wrote down Lord of the Rings I was going to use for his journey. Disney's Moana. Go through that one. <laughs> That's funny. Um, um, I don't know why that one came up. But I, I leverage this framework um, when, I, when I'm helping you know, my clients through their process, right? So anyways, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I went through a lot of this stuff. My intention today was really just to exp explore the first step, right? The first steps, which are critical points to move forward, okay? Uh, figure out your definite purpose. Figure out, like I said, and go in the previous videos, figure out your what's resistance, what resistance. There was a homework on Friday, I believe it was, that I had where it helped you uncover what's resisting you, what's helping, because if you don't know those, you don't overcome those, you can never move forwards uh, from what, to what you want. So we'll dive into those uh, stages. Um, read the book, Outwitting the Devil, if you haven't. It helps you, you know, uncover what resistance is or figure out what resistance is. Um, blah, 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 blah. I got to <laughs> fly through these. 
Um, most of them are already talked about. So the majority uh, let resistance hinder the progress, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 2% who actually uh, actually pursue their journey in life, 2%, okay? So, uh, da, da, da. okay, so Stephen Covey introduced the concept of the ordinary world, um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, however, in personal development, it is predominantly the subconscious mind. I already talked about all that. So for success and personal growth, leaving your ordinary world means altering your subconscious programming. I think I talked about a lot of this stuff. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything that I, that I wrote down here. Uh, this involves adjusting your values, identities, beliefs, stories, and needs, your subconscious. Yeah, I already talked about all this stuff. So moving from your here, you know, moving forward in the hero's journey, the next stage is the call to action, uh, the call to adventure for us. Okay, so if you've done the previous videos, the next step is call to adventure and we move forward. The third step, refusal of the call, follows the initial calling despite the conscious desire to embark on this journey. Your subconscious resists change. I went through all this stuff. All right, so anyway, so awareness is key. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, become aware, get very clear on what it is you want, what's that unlived life that you want or that calling. Maybe it, you feel this thing, you don't know what it is. It's calling you to do something, be something greater, more in your life. Figure out what that is, okay? Spend time figuring out what that is. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll wait a few days to probably create some more videos. So, you know, maybe spend the weekend figuring out what is that? What is that calling for you? If you need some tips or resources, message me. Um, or I'll give you access to Secrets of Success. You can go through that and it'll help you. Um, figure out what that is first. Then figure out what your, the resistance is that's been keeping you from figuring that out or keep, keeping you from going after. So some of you might know exactly what it is. You just been letting resistance get in your way from stopping you. Figure out what all that is so that we can take the next step, okay? And that's stepping into the adventure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. If you like this, please like. If not, don't like. Uh, but, uh, you know, comment or, or share. And if you have any questions or you want access to Secrets of Success, um, I have a link from Russell for a 30-day free trial of it. It's, all, it's It'll blow your mind. I mean, it, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Uh, like I said, a lot of these books and trainings have never been released to the public. These are things that Russell paid millions of dollars to get access to these books and stuff. And um, he's got them in his you know, vaults and, and he's sharing this stuff in Secrets of Success. It's mind blowing stuff that they just didn't want the public to know about. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the powers to be back then, right in the 20s and 30s and 40s and, and earlier than that. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you, Terry, Jonas, Titus. Awesome guys. I appreciate you all being on here and you have a happy and blessed day. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye bye.